Hey friends, I'm Sneesh from Team Must and in this video, I'm gonna discuss about a cool trick to check whether a given number is a prime number or a not. I mean, when you are given a very large number and you have to check whether this number is prime or not, it would take you about uh, two to three minutes or uh, even more than that. But I, I'm gonna discuss a cool trick which won't even take you, I mean, about four to five seconds to get up to the conclusion that is this number a prime number or not. So let's see what the trick is. Uh, um, before that, uh, let me tell you, let me give you a brief intro about what uh, are basically the prime numbers. Um, hope that would help you out. So what are the prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers which have exactly two factors. And what I mean by the term exactly is it shouldn't have, it should not have more than two factors or the less than two factors. It should have exact factors that exact number of terms should be two. So when I ask you that, uh, is for a prime number what you would say that for it has factors 1 2 and 4 so it has more than two factors so you conclude that 4 is not a prime number when when I ask you is 2 a prime number what you would say is uh, it has factors 1 and the number 2 itself so it has exact number of two factors so that means it is a prime number now when I ask you is 1 a prime number what you will see is 1 has only one factor that's the number 1 itself so it's less than the 2 uh, two factors it has less than 2 factors so that means prime, uh, 1 is not a prime number now contrary to these prime numbers are composite numbers now what are the composite numbers the numbers which have more than 2 factors are the composite numbers so when I ask you is 6 a composite number, what you will see that it has the factors 1, 2, 3, 6, that means it has 4 factors, that means it has more than 2 factors, yes, you will conclude that 6 is a composite number. But when I ask you, is 1 a composite number? It's a big no, because it has 1, the number 1 has exactly 1 factor, which doesn't satisfy the term of being into, of being into the category of composite number. So for the composite numbers you should have more than two factors so after going to these definitions of prime number and the composite number we conclude that one is neither a prime number nor a composite number oops the lonely one now let's move forward to the trick now the trick to check whether a given number is a prime number or not is as under so the trick is listen to me carefully every prime number is in the form of 6 in minus 1 or 6 in plus 1 except the number 2's and uh, 2 and 3 uh, let me write this now repeating my sentence again uh, i said every prime number is in the form of 6 in plus 1 or 6 in minus 1 uh, except the numbers 2 and 3 and where n is this n uh, this n is a natural number now what i mean is if any number doesn't satisfy the condition of 6 n plus 1 or 6 n minus 1 where n is a natural number i'll conclude that this number is not a prime number so every prime number should satisfy this condition of 6 and plus 1 or 6 and minus 1 then only it's in a category of being a prime number now taking examples would make it more clear uh, now suppose the number is let's suppose it's 7 I'm thinking from the very basic so I have to check whether this number 7 this is a prime number or not what I'll do is I'll check out by <coughs> the form 6 and minus 1 I'll check this out is equating it to 7 if n comes out to be a natural number a natural number only a natural number then I'll conclude that yes 7 is a prime number let me see does it come out okay would it be 6 n is equal to 7 plus 1 n is equal to 8 upon 6 that won't give me a natural number now so this form fails I'll check out from the uh, for the second form that is 6 n plus 1 equating it to 7 see 6 n equals to 8 uh, I mean 7 minus 1 that's 6 n equals to 6 
n equals to 6 upon 6 that gives me 1 that is a natural number so we conclude that it satisfied the form either of the form 6 and plus 1 it satisfied this form so I conclude that the number 7 this number 7 is a prime number that's it uh, you might be one, uh, wondering that uh, then satisfy the condition 6 and minus 1 but still 7 I'm concluding that 7 is a prime number what I said was it should satisfy either of the conditions either this condition of being 6 and minus 1 or the condition 6 and plus 1 if it satisfy either of the condition I'll conclude that this is a prime number but if it doesn't satisfy either of the conditions I'll conclude that it is not a prime number that is it now let's take one more example let's take a larger number uh, let's suppose it's um, 9 5 7 1 6 8 3 so I have to check for this number this number is it a prime number or not so I'll go by my trick or I said that I'll check it from uh, whether it's in the form of 6 and minus 1 or 6 and plus 1 so I'll uh, first I'll equate it to 6 and minus 1 nine five seven one six eight three so if n comes out to be natural number i'll conclude that it's a prime number let's see does it come out to be natural or not it will be nine five seven one six eight four and be nine five seven seven one six eight four six let's see what will it give me it comes out to be one five nine five two eight zero point something 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 so that means that this number is not a natural number so I this number stands in the category of of number not being prime now let me finally conclude by checking from the second form uh, of 6 and plus 1 let's see 6 n equals to 9 5 7 1 6 8 2 n equals 9 5 7 1 6 8 2 upon 6 that would give me approx 1 5 9 5 two eight zero point three three something 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 so again this number is not a natural number so finally I conclude that this number nine five seven one six eight three is neither in the form of six and plus one nor in the form of six and minus one so I conclude that this number is not a prime number as easy as that so you could have go that if you would have thought by calculating it from the other way of checking whether this number is prime number or not it would have taken you a quite a while so I guess this trick didn't, uh, didn't take more than five to six seconds so hope that saves lots and lots of your time now the final conclusion I said that every prime number is in the form of 6 and minus 1 or 6 and plus 1 except the number 2 and 3 where n belongs to a natural number but it is not necessary that every number that can be represented in the form of 6 and minus 1 or 6 and plus 1 is a prime number. Did you get that? What I said that this rule of 6 and minus 1 or 6 and plus 1 won't go the other way around. What I mean is uh, you go about checking about the numbers 6 and um, now you are taking this uh, form and are placing all the natural numbers in the form of 6 and minus 1 I mean you're trying all the natural numbers and uh, and you're expecting that all the prime numbers would jump out that won't be true what I mean is uh, let me take an example to clear that also suppose you take the form 6 n plus 1 now suppose you put n to be n equal to 4 and are and you are expecting a prime number let's see what it comes out to be 6 cross 6 cross 4 plus 1 that's 25 and you are expecting that this number is a prime number no you are uh, it's not true so hope it clears my, uh, my query that 
it is not necessary that every number that can be represented in the form of 6 in minus 1 or 6 in plus 1 is a prime number but it is always true that all the prime numbers above 3 are of the form 6 in minus 1 or 6 in plus 1 hope that makes sense so that was it for this video um, I would really appreciate your efforts if you could share it to your friend circles and all um, this trick helps you a lot when you are facing all those uh, uh, time challenges and all um, or basically in the aptitude exams whether it be UPSC or bank P or any placement exams or any exam or any aptitude exam where the time is the barrier so that was it for this video what I would say is do subscribe to our channel team must as a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking as always